I first met Digit in October of 2022 when it showcased a unique ability to walk with two legs. Its founder told me there wasn't a need for a head because they didn't want to have people mistakenly converse with it. But that was a year ago. Now the thinking has changed. Agility Robotics has just unveiled Digit 2.0, and as you can see, it's got something upstairs. It's a really good sort of human factor interface for the robot. So we want to have robots that aren't people, but you can kind of tell what they're doing. So it has sort of maybe an animal characteristic or two of my favorite robots, Eve and Wally. -E. It reminds me a whole lot of Eve. Digit 2.0 doesn't talk, but its eyes actually look the direction it's going to turn. The latest version has added hands with three degrees of freedom, and it can also bend and stretch to reach places low and high. Shelton says agility continually thinks about what's called the uncanny valley, the unsettling feeling of seeing human-like robots. So if you get close to a person but not close enough, it's really weird. Uh, and so that's why wax museums are kind of weird. So in this case, it really, you don't want to look at the robot and say, oh, that looks like a person, but a, a person who has a problem. It's a robot, you know, whatever Digit's aesthetic is, that's the aesthetic of Digit the robot, it's not a person, it's here to be a helper, it's not here to be threatening. Shelton says Digit is the only bipedal humanoid robot he knows of that's out in factories doing real manual labor. Agility Robotics also announced a new factory in Salem, Oregon, that will have a peak capacity to build 10,000 Digit robots per year. Melanie Wise ran mobile robot maker Fetch for nearly a decade. She's now CTO of Agility and says people need not fear for their jobs. We never had a person lose a job directly due to a robot because companies couldn't find people to fill the jobs, the vacancies that they had. And many of them, when they were uh, doing a shift, 30% of the people for the shift wouldn't show up. And so it was a huge labor gap to fill on a day-to-day -day basis. Digit has some AI built into it, but only in a very controlled manner. With generative AI programs like ChatGPT still prone to making unexplainable errors, Digit's founder says that simply can't be allowed to happen with a walking robot in a human workplace. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.